Do you want to make your very own fidget binder? I'm going to show you how. Don't wait for tomorrow. It is Dr. Squish, in case you were confused about where you are. Uh, today, I am going to be doing a craft, which you know I'm kind of awkward at. It may not go well. I thought of an idea. I don't know if anybody's ever thought of it before. Someone could have. If there needs to be credit, I can't give it because it just came to me. I don't know that I'm the first, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm going to make a fidget binder. That means I'm going to make a binder full of fidget stuffs. I think it'll be cool and every single thing well i i say that now i'll probably get stuff out that wasn't and you'll be like dr squish is lying no i'm not i just don't know what i'm gonna do sometimes before i do it and that's that happens everything i'm going to use except for the things that i don't are gonna come from the dollar tree i went back to my dollar tree plus yesterday and i got a whole bunch of stuff that i think can be used for fidgeting. Not everything used for fidgeting has to be a fidget toy. Do you fidget and what kind of fidgeting do you do? If it's weird, I you don't have to tell me. That's personal. I don't know. But there's so many different types of fidgeting, right? Different people stimulate themselves. Nope. Soothe themselves? They fidget in different ways. They may do things with their hands. They may be doing things with their feet. That's where foot tapping, knee bouncing, all that stuff comes in. My personal fidget uh, that I have to work on, this is why I love fidget toys, is nail biting. And I know that it always has been, and I know that it's bad. So since I know that I shouldn't bite my nails, I touch my, li my lips, sometimes with my fingernails. And we're in the middle of a germy pandemic and I don't need to touch my face. I didn't even realize how much I touched my face until last year. I'm like, why are you always touching your face? Stop that. Because I need something with texture. I love uh, te tactile sensations. I will get these words out today if it kills me. I love like tactile and uh, sensory things to feel, to rub. It, 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 it kind of gives me that nail biting thing. So I need stuff like that. Other people's fidgeting is different. I found things at the Dollar Tree that were not fidget toys, but they are going to satisfy sensory, tactile, and fidgeting uh, desires. Why can't I think, of, like I'm thinking of English words, but they're not the right ones. I don't know, if you wanna see how to make a fidget book, let's go try it out. I got so many things from the Dollar Tree to do this awkward craft with. Uh, the most important thing for my fidget binder will be the binder. So I just got this typical one inch binder, this three ring binder. Uh, you could get a bigger one if you want, but this one's gonna be the perfect size for me. Picked up some of these glossy folders. They come two to a pack, and these are gonna make the pages for our fidget binder. I'm not actually going to use the holes that are on the uh, inside edge of the folder. I'm gonna poke my own holes with a three hole punch on the outside edge of the folder, all the way through both flaps of the folder, and we're gonna put them in our binder, and that's gonna make our fidget pages. They're glossy, and things are gonna stick to them, and they're gonna be awesome. I also picked up one of these clear pencil pouches, perfect for putting loose fidgets. I found these building blocks, and I thought they were really cool. So you can put them together like this. They were only a dollar. I've never seen blocks like this. I thought they were awesome. So we are gonna put those into our fidget pouch, and uh, any kind of little loose fidgets or squishies or anything you could keep in there, and I thought that was really neat. So the first page we're going to do, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun. I'll be using that a lot today. And I'm gonna use this super cool mermaid pouch. It has flippy sequins. Uh, I love the flippy sequins. They are a perfect fidget in and of themselves. Who doesn't like flippy sequins? Like I've never met anybody just like, I don't like the flippy sequins. So we are gonna use this awesome mermaid pouch on our first page and we're just gonna be gluing it down and that'll be it. So I'm gonna glue the tail first. Adults and grown people, please use supervision when uh, kids are doing any kind of crafts with hot glue guns. This thing really is hot and it can give serious burns. I probably need adult supervision as well. I am gonna just start at the tail and glue that part down first so I can see uh, placement and kind of where I want it to go, just like that. And I'm gonna glue it down bit by bit, a little bit at a time uh, so that I don't mess it up. So I can kind of flip it over a little bit at a time and see where I want the, the tail to go. Awesome, once you have the whole entire thing glued down, that is it. Now you have an awesome mermaid tail flippy sequin fidget page. Oh, 
It actually feels really cool. This is my type of fidgeting. I love these things. This next page I am super excited about, and I can hear you guys now, Dr. Squish, those aren't fidget toys, and you're right. Fidget things don't always have to be specific fidget toys. I found these awesome silicone brush cleaners, like makeup brush cleaners, and I thought their texture was so neat that it was gonna be perfect for my type of fidgeting. It really is cool with these wavy lines and these bumpy lines and the smooth seeds. I thought it would be really fun to touch and it's a really different sensory experience. So I thought these are awesome to fidget with. And hey, these actually have suction cups. Let me see if they will suction right. Oh, they actually suction right to the paper. I thought I might have to bond them with some silicone bond, but they actually suction right to this really glossy paper. And now I have this really cool kind of sensory uh, fidget touching pad. This is so cute, like the watermelon and the pineapple. They both have a really different feel to them. So I really like kind of running my fingernails over them and they're pretty stuck. So now we have a pop socket. Yes, a Dollar Tree pop socket. And look, it is so cool. Yes, it pops just like a pop it to me. I think that's really neat. Uh, and so I'm really excited about this one. I'm gonna stick it right on there and let's see how it works. Yes, oh my gosh, you guys, it works so well. I actually love this. This is such a neat idea. I'm really excited about this one. It worked even better than I thought it would. So that is so cool. This page is so neat. Next, I thought I could make a mesh and marble with this. So let's take it out. Uh, it's like this mesh tube. I don't know what you use this stuff for, but I'm hoping that I can uh, make kind of a mesh and marble type thing. So I have these beads I bought last time I went to the Dollar Tree and let's see if this flower bead, it doesn't really move around in there very well. So that's not gonna work. Let's try a heart shape. Okay, that kind of slips through the mesh a lot better. So I'm just going to hot glue the end, being really careful not to get near my fingers, just trying to kind of melt the ends together. Uh, and after it has cooled quite a lot, then uh, I am going to kind of mash the ends to make sure that it's that they're bonded together. I don't suggest you ever touch hot, hot glue, so I'm letting it cool quite a bit before I smush the ends together. Now I'm just going to glue each end to the page and you wanna make sure you kind of squish it in on itself a little bit so that it's not really tight so that the, the bead inside can move around. And it actually really works a lot better than I thought it would. I didn't know how this would work. So that works a lot more like a mesh and marble than I expected. So I'm just gonna glue this down just like the other side. Perfect. See, it actually slips back and forth just like I was hoping. I actually was hoping to make a really long marble run so that it would kind of go around the page, but that didn't work out. So this is actually still better than I kind of thought it would be. So let's use these crazy straws. Crazy straws are just fun on their own. Let's see what we can do in our fidget page. I found these a pencil and pin grips. They're these little rubber pin grips. I'm gonna put these on the straw and kind of make like a little bead run. I'm actually gonna use my really sharp scissors and cut down uh, to where it's about a centimeter in length so that they will just kind of go around the straw like that. That's super fun. I think that's really cool. So that works pretty well. Uh, and that looks really cute. And I know you're asking yourself, how are you gonna put it on the book, Dr. Squish? Like this with my cute little cat tape. Uh, did you know that the Dollar Tree sells washi tape? Because I did not know that. I picked this uh, super cute kitty cat one. I want the straw to stick up from the page a little bit so that the beads can move around. So I'm gonna cut about three cats length. I don't know how long that is in measurement, maybe two inches. I'm gonna stick the tape right in the middle and I'm going to join right up near the straw, but not near the edges of the tape, if that makes any sense. You'll see what I mean. It's gonna have these little flaps of tape at the end that I'm going to stick down onto the binder page like this so that the uh, straw will actually stick up a little bit from the page. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side of the straw like that. And so now there's a little bit of room and the beads or the, the pin grips can kind of move around and they kind of roll around and move around the straw just exactly like I hope. So that's a pretty cool fidget too. Next, we're gonna use these wooden craft sticks. I think these are really cool in all the rainbow colors. And I have some chenille stems that we are going to tape on. You just need one of them, Dr. Squish, just one. We're gonna use their trusty washi tape once again, just to tape the chenille stem on one end of the uh, wooden craft stick. And then we're gonna use those same beads we used in the kind of mesh and marble type thing, and just put some different cute little beads uh, on 
the chenille stem, just whichever ones you want. After you get a few beads on there, we're gonna use the washi tape to then tape the other end of the chenille stem, just like we did the first side. And then you have this little kind of fidget. It actually is really kind of neat to me. It's so simple, but really effective for just simple fidgeting. So if you're sitting at your desk uh, on the phone or reading a book or something, and you just need something to kind of fidget and keep your hands busy, this is kind of perfect. We are just gonna hot glue that. Why am I so shaky? I clearly need to drink more tea. Uh, we're just gonna hot glue that to the fidget page, just like this, and now we have this kind of little bead flicker. All right, I saved the first page for last, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but you'll see why. I found a squishy. It is an ugly squishy, but it's a squishy nonetheless. It's an ice cream cone, and I thought it would be way too ridiculous and big, so I'm going to cut it in half, or more accurately, just a little less than half, and we are going to cut with my very sharp scissors all the way through the squishy from bottom to top. So I'm just going to go right in with the points of the scissors and I'm going to pull it apart a little bit at a time until I can cut all the way through it. Once I have done that and I have this little less than half of my uh, ugly squishy, as you can see, and I'm going to hot glue it right down on this page. So we are going to just put a little bit of hot glue or a lot of hot glue. Oh no! <laughs> Total craft fail. Uh, you can see why I call this awkward crafting. Literally spilled glue all over the page. Okay, I found these hot and cold iPads. They're really cool. Uh, no pun intended, they look like donuts, but they have gel inside and make kind of a little squidgy squishy. So I'm worried about the hot glue. Uh, see how it kind of gets everywhere, uh, but I'm worried that it might hurt the gel squishies. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue on the page and let it cool for a little bit and then see if they'll stick. I didn't want to let it cool all the way, uh, but just so it wasn't so hot. Perfect, that worked pretty well. And now I have this little finger squishy or squidgy as I like to call it. We are gonna do the same thing with the other one. Just put a little bit of hot glue, wait for it to cool for a little bit, and then stick the donut gel pad on there. And that worked awesome. Okay, so I'm done with this last page and I have a squishy page. It's a little messy, I'm gonna have to fix it, but I have a squishy page. So uh, now let's try and make it look cute. So now that we're done with all the fidgety goodness, let's try and jazz it up a little bit. We got all this cool fidget stuff, but I got these super cute stickers the last time I went. They're really adorable 3D stickers, and obviously there's some mess ups that need covering up. I don't know how that happened. So let's put a little sloth hanging. <laughs> sure, a sloth hanging out of my ice cream makes sense, and it covers up that hot glue. Let's put some more sloths around. He's so cute. Take time to chill is great advice, and uh, voila, look at my adorable squishy page, complete with sloths and coffee. I have this super cute mermaid page, now with unicorns, gorgeous. These stickers really are cool. And uh, for my adorable fruit page, I'm going to put some llamas and cactuses, cacti? I don't know, I probably have that wrong. And for my last page, see, I can cover up things that don't quite look good with more llamas and plants and super cute stickers. I really love this page too. And now comes the part I might regret because I'm gonna write on the cover. And I say I might regret it because my handwriting is terrible. Uh, I have these paint markers. I did not get these from the Dollar Tree. I already had them. They may sell paint markers at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, uh, but I already had these. I may regret this. I am not great at hand lettering, but uh, let's, Let's go for it anyway. Okay, so obviously there are some other YouTubers who are really, really good at this kind of stuff. I am not one of those. There's a reason why I call it awkward crafting. Uh, some people could have painted this to look gorgeous. This is about the best I can do. <laughs> My hand lettering is not so good. But uh, I, it's my fidget binder. Now you know whose it is. And I'm gonna put my last super cute little sloth sticker. It seems like take time to chill is some really good advice for my fidget binder. And we're done. That's it. I finished. I think it looks really, really good. My neighbor is still mowing his grass. We are going to move along. I finished my fidget binder. Uh, what do you guys think? I really do wish I could hand letter better. <laughs> I wish that I was any good at that, but I'm not. I'm actually quite awful at it. You're all out there going, we know, we can we can see that with our eyeballs. But it's so fun. Okay, so I all together, I spent $20 on this. So I, everything all together, I have about 20 items in here 
Each one was a dollar. Nothing was the three or five dollars. So let's tell me your favorite page. Is it the squishy page? Oh my gosh. You guys look at how cute the squishy page is. Open up, dum dum. We have the squishy ice cream, the squidgy donuts. Actually, I like the squidgy donuts like a lot. He's coming out of there. You'll never know. There was like hot glue mess up right there. No one will be the wiser. Do you like the mermaid page? I think this will be my daughter's favorite. She really does love this a lot. Do you like the fruit page? Oh no. Well, these could be glued or bonded. I just used the um, suction cups. Since these folders that I used were kind of shiny, they actually do stay on there pretty well, but you could, you could bond them on. I like this one because this is probably my favorite page. This is my type of fidgeting. This kind of tactile, textured, sensory stuff. The pop it is cool. Why is he mowing his grass right now? People gotta mow their grass. Calm down. But uh, yeah, I like the pop it page and I like this textured watermelon. Oh, it's so cute. Or did you like my kind of Marvel maze and um, what do you call these things? I don't even know what they're called. I don't know. This actually worked out way better than I thought with the, the little bead. It just goes, it's so cute. All right, guys, which page is your favorite from the fidget binder? And not a real fidget toy to be found. I guess the squishy technically is a fidget toy, but all the rest of it was just sensory, fidgety, tactile goodness. I hope you guys had fun watching me make my fidget binder. And uh, if you try it, let me know. If you try it and use different things, let me know. Be careful with the hot glue. I burned my finger. I told you I needed supervision. But I will see you guys on my next show. I love you to pieces. Bye-bye, squishy fans.